this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make your very own head mold. Somebody asked, so I figured it would probably be quicker to actually do it than to write up a tutorial on how to do it. It might be more useful because a lot of people learn by actually watching. Um, I'm going to line up my head on the center of the axis. This is where I'm going to cut it. And let's see, we got the head here. I'll get a box. And from this box, we're going to uh, perform a Boolean subtraction. So I'm just creating another bounding box that we're going to subtract from. Okay, I'm going to add a couple more segments here to help refine where. Uh, pieces are actually going to cut so it won't use as much plastic I want it to actually print out my kids have been bugging me to uh, make a chocolate head of myself so they can eat my head <laughs> which is kind of weird moving these pieces to follow the profile of my head. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to perform a Boolean subtraction. Um, I'm using LightWave, but I'm sure these same same tools and methods are available in pretty much any uh, 3D software. This is the same stuff that's been in since version 3 of LightWave. So pretty sure Blender can do it. I'm not sure what you do in Blender to do it, but if you can do Boolean subtractions in Blender, I'm sure you can do it. Or whatever. So I'm going to take the top. I'm going to make a mold clip, so I'm going to bevel this out. I'm going to keep it about 45 degrees to make the Maker Bot happy. And move these other points back into alignment. about making boxes and boolean subtraction. <laughs> I don't need to make segments. And yeah, the mold clip's the piece that holds all the four pieces together and use rubber band around the base to uh, to force them into alignment and bring them to a little chocolate. We're going to make a copy of this as a mold clip. I'm going to make two copies. We're going to have a front and back. Okay, perform a blank subtraction. the other side. Okay, so now we have the front of the mold. Delete the box. And take this, move it over here, I need two copies of it because we're going to have a total of four, so make two of the front, two of the back. Create another box. This is what's going to divide the mold in half into, actually into quarters. It's going to divide the half into half. to the 
set aside, form that first again. Axis to kind of demonstrate. Yeah. Okay, so now we have a four piece mold. Now we can split this up into individual objects and, and make it printable. That's it.